This is the story of our search for a John Deere two-bottom plow. After many months of searching, they've become so popular with the antique plow days going on, we finally picked this one up just south of St. Louis, Missouri for $300. Brought it home in the back of this beautiful pickup truck, picked up some Rust-Oleum farm equipment, John Deere green paint, and started going at the restoration. Did not have any type of equipment to sand it, so I did hand sanding at its finest. Here is me in the middle of the restoration. As you can tell, I'm starting to paint the Coulter Arms green. There's one of the yellow ones still there. And sanding the back right before getting a slab of thick green Rust-Oleum paint. Kept on with the painting job, added some flat black to the Coulters and the actual mold boards themselves. Here's probably the most difficult part of the restoration process is finding out which type of plow I had. I knew I had a John Deere two bottom plow, but there's an 810 series, an 812 series, and an 814. So I did much research, went to some people online, and finally figured out that I had a John Deere 812 two bottom plow. This is the plow, completely finished, ready to go behind my grandpa's John Deere 3020 tractor, which was restored about six years ago, but I set in the corner of the machine shed ever since. Here's the cobwebs in the flat tire and we found out that it also had no spark so my dad and I took to what we had no idea how to do which was fixing a John Deere 3020 with no spark. Here we are learning about the points and condenser set but we had learned that the previous restoration guy had installed a electronic ignition. Once we realized that we found out that it had blown and so we had to order one online. There's the beauty there sitting in the back of the machine shed. After we uh, got a spark, we realized that it's not getting any gas. So I had to learn how to take apart a carburetor on a John Deere and fix it. And here's one of the most important pictures to me. This is my grandpa watching me, 92 years old, restoring his pride and joy John Deere. 1967 3020 tractor that he purchased brand new in 1966. These pictures here are myself and my grandparents standing in front of what you can't tell but is a running actually it's turned off right there look at the John Deere we uh, got it running ran great then added the plow right behind it a lot of memories on this tractor growing up I started planting corn probably around 11 or 12 years old and again this tractor has been in our family for over 50 years now there's a problem standing next to the John Deere and the restored plow. I do think I'm going to add a three bottom plow to it to give it a better feel but it's such an honor and a joy to put A a plow back into service and B a tractor back into service. I can't wait to see these antique plow days and hopefully enter this into one in 2017. Thanks for watching. Get out there and restore those tractors. Hope you enjoyed it.